Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so intrigued to hear your opinion on this whole topic and this whole video today. And I really want you to weigh in. I, If you're someone who doesn't usually comment, if you're someone who is a silent viewer, I really encourage you, if, if you feel comfortable, to share your thoughts. Because sometimes I like to think I know you guys, but maybe, maybe you might shock me. Maybe you might shock me. I would love to hear what your opinion is on this particular topic. Because it's kind of just divided the internet, really. It's divided... Reddit. It's a specific thread that went semi-viral on Reddit and it made its way to various news outlets and I really want to comment on it today. I want to share my thoughts on this particular thread and I also want to hear what you have to say. I really, really want to hear what you have to say. Okay, without sounding too eager and desperate, please share with me your thoughts. Maybe you might have a difference of opinion to me and it might make me think twice. Basically, there is a specific thread that went viral on Reddit of a man sharing a screenshot of his text conversation with a t Tinder match, a woman that he matched with on Tinder that went semi-viral and it was basically, I'm going to read you the text message and I'm also going to have it up on screen so you can read it for yourself. But basically the premise was he posted this on a specific Tinder thread on Reddit and he captioned it, I guess ice cream dates are considered a terrible idea nowadays. The text conversation, as you can see here, it says, hey, this is Vance, Vance, smiley face. She responded, hi, with an emoji smiley face. And he said, hope you've had a good day. I'm excited for tomorrow. To me, first off the bat, <laughs> that's two nice things. He said, hope you've had a nice day, and he's excited for tomorrow, acknowledging their potential date. I can pick you up, but if you're not comfortable with that, we can just meet there. Again, I really loved that. I really loved that he offered to pick her up, but also acknowledged that she may be uncomfortable with that and gave her the opportunity to voice that she isn't comfortable with that and you can find her own way there. I don't know why, but I'm feeling like getting some ice cream in this hot weather with a hot emoji face and lol, laugh out loud. Now, for a lot of you guys watching, you're on the other side of the world, you're currently living your best life in summer. I love ice cream. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel about ice cream. Personally, I've never met someone who doesn't like ice cream. Maybe if you're dairy intolerant or you're vegan, but even then I think there are many, a variety of different ice cream substitutes out there. I personally never met anyone who doesn't love ice cream. And even if you don't like ice cream, there is many opportunity for a variety of things to get in an ice cream parlor. I've found, I've found there's many ice cream parlors that just serve drinks or smoothies, or I mean, God, even a bottle of water. Anyway, I will press on. <laughs> reply was sorry if this may come off as rude she prefaced it very politely by saying sorry if this may come off as rude but I don't do ice cream dates I'm a 26 year old woman and dates like that seem like the absolute bare minimum for me meeting up would be a waste of both of our times since we probably don't have the same vibe best wishes she left by saying best wishes which is also very polite. He responded with cool and some sunglasses and the emoji face. However, that reply didn't even go through because she had blocked him, blocked him on text message and also blocked him on Tinder and just basically blocked him from all platforms. Now, I wanna start by saying that one of the best things about the internet and technology is you do have the ability to block people. You have you have the ability to put a halt to certain a certain amount of harassment that may take place online and through text messages. We've all, I'm sure, experienced it at some point. We will have the ability to block and stop that harassment from taking place. But I think that there is a certain element that we need to talk about with just this kind of disregard and kind of throwaway of humanity. It just it really kind of removes that humanity element. And people are very much seen as disposable. I'm sure you've experienced this. We all have at some point. And we've probably also been the, not only the victim, but also the perpetrator of this type of thing. You know, I was known and ad admittingly so, I'm not, I'm not proud of it. In my single days, I got to the point where I was just so sick of, you know, online dating. I was so sick of dating that a lot of time I wouldn't even give people a reason why I didn't want to talk to them anymore. I wouldn't even give them a reason why I'd stop texting them. I'd just stop texting them. I'd block them or I'd delete their number or I'd, I wouldn't even give them that that truly probably the respect that they a lot of them deserved and i mean also i experienced sometimes where i did actually politely tell people i wasn't interested but then i just got blasted with harassment which is also something that can happen however it is this whole idea that humans are just so disposable you know like it's a bit of a meat market dating has turned into a little bit of a meat market where we do feel like 
we do just have the right and we can just block people um, without any real explanation or it just, yeah, that kind of sometimes rubs me a little bit the wrong way. But this whole topic, honestly, please, like I said, I'm so intrigued to hear what you think about this. It's like the internet has weighed in. It's gone semi-viral. Like I said, I'll have the thread linked in the description if you want to read it. I'm just going to start off by saying that I'm sure that this woman did not expect for her text messages, her private text messages to be just displayed on, on the internet like that. And that is one thing that, again, similar to the whole blocking and the just disregard for humans in general, that's something else I don't like. I don't like when private text messages are shared, shared publicly and I don't like when people are kind of exposed in that sense. However, I guess one good thing and I hope that this Vance, Vance guy would never kind of call her out or expose her her identity. The text wasn't nasty at all. I mean, she was polite in her, in her turn down. You absolutely have the right to turn down a date. You have the right to say no to a date that you don't want to attend. And I'm sure she didn't expect to have her private text messages like thrown up on a Reddit thread. I don't agree with that type of behavior, but since it's now out there for public discourse, let's, let's debate it. I actually really like the idea of ice cream dates. I'm a 30 year old woman and I still go on ice cream dates with my boyfriend. Like we, we love ice cream. I love ice cream dates. When I was single, I preferred dates like that. I preferred casual, low key, bare minimum. Some people may say, I mean, she sees this date as bare minimum. I actually preferred that type of date for a first date because it's low, low investment. It doesn't take a lot of time and it doesn't cost a lot of money. And again, I'm a little bit old school with my values, I suppose, a little bit old school with my idea of dating, but I do like for a man to pay for a first date. I know not everyone's like that, but I also can understand that if you are single and you are going on, I mean, maybe you're out there on the dating market and you're going on, you know, multiple dates a week, if you are paying for each one of those women, that can get kind of expensive if you are whining and dining, taking women out to nice restaurants on a weekly basis, which I think if you're a single woman or man, you have every right to do that. I think that can get really expensive. So I can understand wanting to go for coffee or go for a walk or go get ice cream. And not only from a financial standpoint, I actually prefer dates like that as a woman. I can tell you I've been on many different dates in my single years. I had been on many different types of dates and this could be a whole video in itself, but truly, truly one of the most traumatizing, horrible, disgusting, worst dates of my life, of my life, was also the one that was the most fanciest restaurant. It was the nicest restaurant. It was the most ideal date, I suppose. I mean, it's something I'd want to do now again that was a learning experience for me but that's not something i'd ever do for a first date ever again it was also the most expensive first date he obviously paid the bill and it was truly disgusting and it was a horrible date and getting in that elevator with him oh my god i'm just i'm having ptsd but getting in that elevator like i was like oh my god i'm scared i'm scared he's gonna harass me i'm i'm scared he's gonna try and touch me he was looking me up and down and then i was like oh my god he probably feels like he has the right to do that because he just paid the 600 dollars bill he was literally the most piggish man i've ever met in my life he was such a pig Ugh. oh god it was horrible and that was like the most you know opulent like fanciest dinner first date I've ever been on but it was horrible I would never go on a first date like that I prefer bare minimum like low effort I guess some people would characterize that this woman feels that way ice cream dates coffee dates catch-up dates because oh god there's been other experiences as well not as bad as that but like going out to somewhere like that if you if you've committed to a dinner with someone it's so much harder to get up and walk away which is why i had to sit through this dinner with this pig for a couple of hours another dinner date i went on oh my god i remember we were looking at the menus and it was like my shortest date of all time it was i think i was there for like not even two minutes i actually had to say to him look i'm so sorry but he completely it was it was just a complete uh, catfishing situation he looked absolutely nothing nothing like his photos and it really caught me off guard and i was like no 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 like you basically lied to me again i know looks aren't everything guys but like it was it was completely not he looked nothing like his 
for profile photos. So in moments like that, I think ice cream dates, coffee dates, something that you can literally spend as much or as little time as you want. Like if you go out for an ice cream with someone, you could literally order like a friggin' baby cone and be in and out of there in like 15 minutes if you so choose. Or you can spend half an hour eating your ice cream and then go for a walk or you can sit in and eat ice cream. It can it can go as long as it, as it needs to and, it, and you want it to. And I do like that kind of control and that element of, that element of control that low effort bare minimum dates have because if you're meeting someone for the first time you don't know if you're going to get along with them you're not going to you don't know if you're going to want to spend you know however long with them and this particular woman let me go back to a message thread sorry if this may come off as rude but i don't do ice cream dates i'm a 26 year old woman and and this seems like the absolute bare minimum for me so I, i'm really curious like i I'm so curious to hear what you think about this. Like, do you consider the ice cream dates to be the bare minimum? I just find this kind of sad in a way because let's just let's just let's just assume that she loves ice cream and she eats ice cream with her family, with her friends, you know, with her boyfriend, potential boyfriend, she'd ice cream. This is considered bare minimum. So I'm assuming, I'm making the assumption, let me know in the comments down below what, what you're kind of, what, what you gather from this text message. I'm assuming she maybe wants to be wine to dine. She maybe wants to go out for a fancy dinner or something with more effort and more extravagance surrounding it. Every time I've ever experienced a date like that, like I said, it's always backfired. I've mentioned from a man's point of view, spending that kind of money you know if you're going out for multiple dates and you're kind of dating that can be quite expensive but also from a woman's point of view from my point of view i prefer dates like that i prefer more low-key casual dates because i remember when i was single the mental anguish that i'd experience before a date the, the jitters the nerves the anxiety the excitement all of that wrapped into one getting ready feeling my best making sure i looked and felt my best all of that takes time and there's nothing that frustrated me more when i was single than going on dates and coming back from a day and being like oh my god i just wasted this much time getting ready i wasted like an hour and a half getting ready i wasted an hour at this date i wasted half an hour getting there half an hour getting back i wasted a whole night on this it was the most boring horrible crappiest day i hated it that always would leave me feeling really kind of down in the dumps and a bit defeated so i prefer low effort casual dates it begs me to leave the question do you think that women I mean, again, everyone has different preferences. Do you think maybe some women are expecting too much? Do you think that we've taken, there's like this element of the feminine energy and the feminine archetypes. And there's kind of like this emphasis on more old school traditional values lately, I think, and women kind of demanding and expecting more from men. And I do agree with some elements of that, but I, when I think of things like a simple ice cream date, I asked my mum when this was all kind of floating around, I said, look, you know, did you go on ice cream dates when you were young? Her and my dad married quite young, but you know, they went on ice cream dates. I'm like, do you think like my Nana, you know, used to go on ice cream dates? And she said, yeah, like that was probably a thing. To me, there's like a certain level of romance to it as well. It could be the start of a beautiful summer romance and beyond, you know? It's something that has also a very timeless feel to it, you know? It, it could have been something that my grandma did when she was young, you know, in the 40s, 50s, 60s. Um, it's something that my mum even probably did. I just think it kind of takes a lot of fun out of dating, you know? Tapping into, tapping into your inner child and doing something a little bit more playful and fun, like getting ice cream down the beach or just getting ice cream in the summertime. It's a fun thing. It's a, it's a fun thing to do. And even if I didn't like ice cream, I would just suggest something else. I, I wouldn't say, look, I don't think we've got the same vibe, best wishes, block him. If I was genuinely interested in going on a date with someone, if I match with someone on Tinder, I would say, hey, look, I don't really feel like going out like, for an ice cream, although like I basically never turned down ice cream. But if I was to, I'd say, look, can we go out for dinner if that's what I wanted? Or can we go out for a coffee? Or can we do this instead? Do you think that ice cream dates are bare minimum and low effort and not worth your time? Or do you actually like ice cream dates? Do you see that being a really cute potential first date? I would be flattered if someone asked me out for ice cream. I would really be flattered. I think it's a really sweet date. You can maybe argue that this Vance guy is maybe not a great guy because he just posted and blasted this thread on Reddit. But you know, it just kind of makes you think about all the good men out there that actually do suggest really sweet dates. Like to me, ice cream is a sweet date. He said, I hope you're having a good day. I'm excited to see you tomorrow. Like I can pick you up, but if you don't want me to drive, like if you want to meet me there, that's totally cool. Like all these sweet things. And he just kind of got like shot, like shut down and like, 
I just, yeah, it just it does make me a little bit sad. And I just sometimes I wonder if people in dating expect a bit too much. I think we, we see it and maybe it's just this rise of, I mean, I've talked about it before with the whole search for a high value man. I'll have that video linked. But we see these women on TikTok and Instagram, and social media, talk about how to bag a high value man and their boyfriend's like a rich man or a rich boy and, you know, they're a stay at home girlfriend or stay at home fiance or whatever. And, you know, they, t they tell you how to bag a rich man and, and where rich men hang out and what, what kind of first dates rich men take you on. And I just wonder if that's kind of pushed this idea of, oh God, like anything other than a nice five-star dinner for a first date. I'm just, I'm so much better than that. And I'm so much more deserving of that. Maybe you think that, but I just feel like just maybe humble yourself a little bit, you know, like if you want someone to take you out for a nice dinner, like, I, I don't know about you, but if the roles are reversed, I wouldn't want to be taking someone out for a really expensive dinner and paying for someone's dinner if I didn't even really know if we were a good match, if I didn't even know if I wasn't going to see them again. You know, I think I can understand not wanting to take someone out for a four, five, six hundred dollar meal that you don't even know, like that you met them on Tinder. You never even met them. You don't know what they're about. You don't know if you share the same values, morals, or if you even get along with each other. I wouldn't want to pay that. I wouldn't want to pay that. I just, I wouldn't. But I also, as a woman, wouldn't want to be stuck on a date with someone that I don't know. Like, stuck in a restaurant, knowing very well that it's so hard for me to get out of a date like that. Ice cream to me would be a really great date. Um, but yeah, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on this in the comments down below. Do you think that's low effort? Do you think that's bare minimum? Where do you stand on this very divisive topic that's just taken Reddit by storm? I'm really interested to hear from you in the comments down below. I'm going to have another one linked for you right here. If you haven't had enough of me just yet, feel free to join me over there. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!